So now the question will be is this, a Jew who is acquainted with the Torah, with the Old Testament, why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact he's been instructed quite explicitly in fact in the Old Testament not to break the commandments? Actually, this is a very good question from Mr. Muhammad Hijab. Why a Jew who has been instructed not to break the commandment to worship one God, he will do that? You see, I'm not the one who said that. It is him. Muhammad Hijab, he just questioned his prophet and his Quran. Muhammad Hijab is saying, obviously, it's a lie. Anyone who say that a Jew, he worship more than one God, is a liar. Listen carefully. It's not me who said that. I will play the video for you again. Listen Abdul carefully, please. So now the question will be is this. A Jew who is acquainted with the Torah, with the Old Testament, why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact... He's been instructed quite explicitly, in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments. Why is it that in the Old Testament, you do not find the Trinity mentioned or inferred? And if it was inferred, why haven't the rabbis, the Jewish scholars, for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred it? Thank you very much. For 4,000 years, the rabbis never mentioned the Trinity. Who said that? Muhammad Hijab. By the way, he's copying Dida. This guy is just copying other people. The stupid Dida, he said the same when he was debating a Christian. And he confirmed, as he, this guy, he confirmed, that the Jews never believe except in one God. And actually, he himself, in the beginning, he quote for us, he says, oh, you, oh, oh, oh Israel, your Lord is one. But look what he did by saying that. He just confirmed that the Quran is a false book because if you go in the Quran we will find the following remember he is the one who said for 4,000 years the Jews never mentioned the Trinity and they never mentioned except one God this is his question you can go and read from uh, watch from the beginning he quote what the Jews says about worshiping one God and now he's confirming for 4,000 years, for 4,000, 4, this is mean, including the time of Muhammad, which means from the beginning until now. Until now. But the Quran says in chapter 9, verse number 30, that the Jews consider as Uzair, a guy, his name is Uzair, that he is the son of God. So you are just confirming to us that Islam is a false religion. Because you just said for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi <laughs> believe in such a garbage. Who is Uzair? The son of Allah. When you say that for 4,000 years, that's been including until now, not a single rabbi believe in additional name to Elohim. By the way, this guy, Abdul, he said, uh, the problem, the Christian, they say that the proof of the Trinity, that they say Elohim, it's a plural name. But the fact, it just mentioned once, if you go, you will see always a singular name. But if the, the proof that God is more is, 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 a, is the Trinity is the name, your Quran keeps saying we, it is we, it is us. <laughs> so if we, if we use the language to prove is God only, if this is the only proof that God is a singular or not, well, then the Quran, all of it, Proving to us that Allah cannot be Allah. Allah sometimes He say it is us. Some say sometimes He say it is He. So it is us. It is He. It is who? It is I. Is He us? Is He we? Is He us? Is He is He He? And how dare you to accuse your prophet that he is a liar and not a single rabbi? He said such a thing. Why is it that in the Old Testament you do not find the Trinity mentioned? Or inferred and if it was inferred why haven't the rabbis the Jewish scholars for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred it if we go in different verse in the Quran you will see that the rabbis 
the Quran claim that the rabbis even they, they worship I mean like they have multiple gods but this guy he said that that not even a single one you know he's he he, he said such a thing hmm? read carefully chapter 3 verse number 64 it says why you want to take each other as gods so he was talking to the Jews to who who is who is the ones who who worship each other as gods huh who are they, those people who worship in the, the rabbis? But you said to us, they never mentioned that, they never worship that. Say, oh, people of the book, who is people of the book? The Christian and the Jews together. You see, when the Quran, he wanted to mention the Jews, he called them by the name, he called them Yahud. When he want to call the Christian only, speak about the Christian, he called them Nasara, which is false name. This is the abunit, the man who he spoke about them which Muhammad was learning from them. And by the way, he said, the, those are the real Christians, which mean it proven to us that this guy is an ignorant because the Abunit, they believe that Mary, she was not, was not a virgin. And they believe that Jesus himself is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> anyway, so all people of the book come to our common terms between us. And he is the one who quote for us this verse. Let us not to associate or partner with him. And not to take from ourself, from ourself, lords, which means he is saying that those Jews and those Christians they are worshiping human beings as gods. Who are they? The previous verse mentioned that there's a guy, his name is Uzair, and there's a guy, his name is Jesus, and the Christian and the Jews they worship them. All right, let us see. <clears throat> In the chapter 9, verse number 31, remember this guy, he said, for 4,000 years, the Jews never worship anyone additional to God. So now the question would be is this, a Jew who is acquainted with the Torah, with the Old Testament, why would one ask him to realign his belief, his theological doctrines, into believing in a triune God, when in fact, he's been instructed quite explicitly in fact, in the Old Testament, not to break the commandments? Huh? But look what the Quran says, even they are worshipping their own rabbis as God. Chapter 9, verse number 31. <laughs> so he just confirmed that Muhammad is a scam and he is lying. Because either what you just said now is the truth, or what is mentioned in the Quran is the truth. They take their priests and their authority or rabbis as Lord instead of Allah and actually this verse says that they, they take their rabbi and their and their and their priest as as God instead of Allah and the Messiah here the translation is false in Arabic it says they took their rabbi and their monks or their priest as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah, which means you have to worship Allah and the Messiah. And they were not ordered to worship any God except one, which means Allah and the Messiah is one. This is what the, this is what the clear Arabic saying that the Muslim they say, no, no, no. He is adding at the end that they worship the Messiah. Okay, how you are saying Ahbarahum, Waruhubanahum. And then you are saying they worship, how they are worshipping their priest and they are worshipping the Messiah. That is stupid to say. Who is the Christian who worship the priest? Same time, this Abdur, he said, that in the Old Testament never mentioned the Trinity. That is because of your ignorance. It's not our problem, my friend. If we go in the Bible, you will see from the beginning, from the book of Genesis, you will see here in Genesis 1 26 it says that God he said let us make a man in our image so God here he is proven to us that the image of a man is the likeness of God in different verse in the Bible it says clearly that God who have a spirit the Lord not only that he said the Lord said to my Lord the Lord said unto my Lord, who is the first Lord, who is the second Lord? You said nowhere in the Bible it says that. 
Do the Christian believe in two lords? Or they believe in one God? You will say the Christian believe in the Trinity. The Jews never mentioned that in 4,000 years. How come in the Old Testament we don't have any proof of that? So who is the first Lord and who is the second Lord? The second Lord, the one he's talking about here is the Messiah. This is why the Messiah, he asked the Jews and he called for them. He said to them, what do you say of the Messiah? They said he is the son of David. Who is talking here in, Ma in Matthew saying, what think ye of Christ? The son of he is he. Like who is the son of he who, you know, this, this, this Christ. Who is talking? The Messiah himself, the Christ. They say unto him, the son of David. This is the idea of the Jews. As you said, then Jesus, he got them busted. As I'm getting you busted, he said. He says unto them, how then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, the Lord said unto my Lord. Do you see the word there? It says he called him into spirit. So the Messiah, the Messiah confirmed that he is, when he is with us as a man, he called himself the son of a man. When he is in heaven, he is with us as a spirit. This is why he said, I will never leave you. I will be with you always. Every two mention my name, I will be the third between you. Call me, I would answer. How Jesus can answer everybody? How Jesus can forgive sin? So Jesus said to them, if he, if David then call him Lord, how he is, how is he his son? You see, the Christian in the Bible, we say that Jesus is the son of David by the flesh, which means by birth. But Jesus here confirmed that he's a son of no one, no man. And this is the purpose of Jesus not to be born of any marriage. If we ask the Muslims, why Jesus don't have a father? They say, well, he is the same as Adam. That is a stupid answer. Adam, he was the same man. The rest of us, we are born out of sexual relationship between a male and female. What the point of Jesus not having a father? That is the reason. For he is not the son of David. He is not the son of a man. He called himself the son of man because of the flesh. But as you see, you Muslims believe that Mary is a virgin. By the way, the Muslims speak about logic of, of God being three, right? How come they don't speak about the logic of Mary being virgin? They have no logic for it and they have no explanation. I mean, what, what the point of this miracle if nobody can prove it? Because I can say my mother was a virgin too. Copy paste religion. What the point of Jesus being son of a virgin? Who can prove that? My mother, she can have 20 kids, yet she can claim that she was a virgin. There's no way to prove or disapprove this, this, uh, this thing. But the Muslims, they don't question that just because Muhammad, he said, Mary, she was a virgin. Not because it's logical. And this is showing the sign of hypocrisy of the Muslims. Either you go by logic and you say it's not logical to be three in one. And we showed you in the previous ver uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, video how Allah have two shapes and Allah have many legs and Allah have hands and Allah changed his shape, shape number one and shape number A, shape A, A and B. So why they lie and they say it doesn't say that? You will see the Old Testament confirming the New Testament. This Abdul, he said, the early church father, none of them believe in the Trinity. And he is the one who mentioned that Mark is the most ancient book about Christianity. He is the one who said that. Look how idiot he is. This is the book of Mark. He can't read. And you will see that it's confirming from the first chapter that Jesus, first of all, he is the son of God. The only book teaching the Trinity is the book of, of John. <laughs> and this is here in the front of us in the same chapter in the beginning of the Bible of Mark, book of Mark it says clearly that the, the, the any clean spirit hmm, they say to him they cried out saying let us alone what have we do to you thee though Jesus of Nazareth are thou come to destroy us? I know thee who art, who thou art, 
the Holy One God. And you are saying, and you are lying, saying only the book of John speak about Jesus being God. And you are the one who mentioned the book of Mark. My friend, stupidity is amazing. But we here we are here to expose them. So what we learn from this, just to remind you, that this man he just acknowledged that whatever written in the Quran about the Jews that they are worshipping a man, his name is Uzair, is a lie because he is the one who said for 4,000 years not a single rabbi not a single rabbi believe that there was additional name to worship except the name of God not a single rabbi Testament, you do not find the Trinity mentioned or inferred. And if it was inferred, why haven't the rabbis, the Jewish scholars, for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred it? This is the question you need to ask your God about it because you got your God busted now. And your prophet is so proud of you for calling him and his Quran a book of fabrication by saying that the Quran claim in chapter 9 verse number 30 that Uzair is the son of Allah and this is how we got the Abdul busted if you are a man accept to debate me and don't memorize or get a Bluetooth in your ears and read an article of somebody else be a man and stop debating about the Trinity the reason they choose to debate about the Trinity because they are afraid to ask them questions they go in the stage and now they will throw rocks and you as a Christian now you have to answer them they think they can get away with it actually as you see all the answer you give us is a clear proof that Islam is a false religion 4,000 years not a single rabbi who is the one saying that hijab why is it that in the Old Testament you do not find the Trinity mentioned or inferred and if it was inferred, why haven't the rabbis, the Jewish scholars, for 4,000 years of Hebrew history inferred? And you are lying to yourself and to the Abdul. And you got your God busted. Thank you guys for listening. Please download the video and share it with your friends. And if you have any Muslim who dare to debate us, please feel free. And we will be happy to take him. Take him down the same we took his God. The God of the black stone, the pagan religion who kissed black stone. Even Muhammad, he said that whoever kissed the black stone or he hold or touched the black stone in the, in the Yemeni corner, which is a corner in the Kaaba, Allah will erase his sin. And yet they claim they are worshipping God. And they are people who believe in monotheism. And they believe in oneness of God who is in heaven. When they yet they believe that the stones can forgive them. And they believe even Muhammad, he said that the black stone is the right hand of Allah. And how you can, how in the world you believe that a stone can erase your sin for touching it, unless you are a pagan person. You believe in stones, you kiss stones, and your prophet kisses stones, and you go around the stone, and you bow down in front of stones, and you worship stones, because this is always an act of worship. Yet you speak about the oneness of God. My friend, your God is a stone who say the most stupid things. As an example, women have sperm coming from their ribs. You have one God, you have ten God, doesn't matter, my friend. He is a stupid God. The man is sperm coming from the backbone. Your God, Allah, the one you call him one God, he does not even understand, he cannot even remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees. Yet you are proud about him being one God. Well, be happy with the one God. And by the way, the idea of having one God or ten gods is very stupid. Let me tell you why. Because let us say for the sake of argument, somebody he worship, he is a Hindu. He worshiped 10,000 gods, but they are true exist. Who care about how many they are? Let us say somebody believe that in heaven, there's 1,000 elephant. And we laugh at him. And then one day we discover that there is 1,000 elephant. It doesn't matter who laugh at him. He's right. So it's very stupid of you to try to make us believe that you are right just because you believe in one God. But we are the one who believe in one God. By the way, the God, the, the Egyptian believe in one God. Does that make the Egyptian Muslims? The Pharaoh? <laughs>
stupidity is a must thank you very much for watching please share the video with your friends may the lord bless you all